This iMac is from 2010. How well does it hold up in 2023? Amazingly enough, this computer is 13 years old, which is crazy because it certainly doesn't look like it, unless you look at it from the sides, but whatever. Anyways, this iMac has a little problem and it has to do with the fans. They'll ramp up to a moderately high level, which gets a little noisy within a matter of minutes after booting up the iMac and will never slow down until the computer goes to sleep or shuts down. Of course, I could get a recording of it, but I'm just too lazy to demonstrate. Several months ago, when I originally got this machine, I had replaced the slow mechanical hard drive with an SSD to, of course, speed up the computer. Unfortunately, these older iMacs came with temperature sensors that would physically plug into the hard drive through this connector to monitor its temperature and would ramp up the fans when needed to prevent the drive from overheating. Apple made this cable necessary for the fans to operate normally. So you can't remove the cable physically from the motherboard without the fans going crazy. Thankfully, there is a fix to this which is made possible by snipping the end of this cable and soldering both of these wires together. Here, I just twisted them which is just as effective. I assume this procedure completes the circuit or shorts them together. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't really matter either because the fans operate normally now, which is lovely. After reassembling everything back together, I installed a fresh copy of the macOS Catalina Patcher onto this iMac and it's ready to go. So this ancient beast has an Intel Core i3, 16 gigabytes of RAM, which has been upgraded. Radeon HD 4670 graphics and a 240 gigabyte SSD. Disregarding the aging specs, this iMac is completely upgradable from the CPU to the graphics and everything in between, and reveals the true potential these computers have to give. And believe it or not, it actually performs way better than I ever would have expected. With its solid state storage and a much higher capacity of RAM than it originally came with, Accomplishing basic tasks like desktop usage was amazing, and very snappy opening and closing applications. No stuttering or playing catch-up at all. Surfing the web was just as decent. Media playback on YouTube, which can be intensive, was smooth playing in Full HD with no stuttering. And very, very light gaming is accomplishable with the right settings. Just don't have high expectations given that the graphics has 256 megabytes of VRAM, which is not much. Even though this iMac is 13 years old, don't let it deceive you of what it can do. So, it's clear that this computer is not yet a pile of scrap metal. So, how much does it cost? Well, I'm delighted to see that you can get one of these for under $100, which is certainly worth it if you're willing to give it a few upgrades. Overall, these computers are getting old, and it shows. But when it comes down to the basic things necessary, this thing is a perfect cheap device for that. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out the videos above. Don't forget to like, subscribe, etc, etc. Anyways, thank you so much for watching.